a little bit farther left because he throws a bigger hook. His target will be right around the third arrow, and if he can get one more strike, he'll lead by 11. All right. Bob Spaulding looking for his first win ever. Downtown Baltimore is a place to find Lexington Market, where you can still enjoy a meal for a bargain price. Been a knockout punch in the Baltimore area, too. Continues to snow and sleet outside. Brian Voss wants to continue striking a double up. Can trail by only one if he gets one here. Game is on, Bo. Thank you, Chris Shankle. Dennis Jakes, uh, you averaged over 245 on the championship here all this week. Uh, the lane's about the same for today's championship round. Uh, definitely. There might be just a hair more back end, which will give good scores. As you can tell, Brian and uh, Bob are starting to strike now, so anything can happen. Maybe you'll see the 8-300 shot today. You never know. Very powerful, very confident. He'll be up in the next match, Chris. Okay. Using two-thirds of the approach, Brian Boss, three in a row, eighth frame. And a four-bagger. He leads by 11 pins. But Spalding is up and can cut it to one. Three bagger going. Eighth frame. Isn't this fun? The 10 where he could have retaken the lead. And, and what a key shot is the 10 pin is. You look at this pin, this second pin on the right-hand part of your screen. You're going to see it just not quite pop itself out of the channel and knock down the 10 pin. And with a conversion here, he will trail by 10 pins with two frames left. Next Saturday on ABC Sports, a professional bowlers tour. Heads to a tournament that honors one of the game's all-time great players. Join us in New Jersey for the Johnny Petraglia Open. Live at 3, 2 Central on ABC Sports. Speaking of New Jersey, today they're having a Vietnam veterans uh, event. And a lot of the name pros uh, to make it here are there helping our servicemen in. And Lee Livingston and Johnny Petraglia are the greatest hosts you could have. So here's to a good time for everyone there. Right now, the good time for Brian Voss is an 11-pin lead with two frames left. He looks at the scoreboard. He has a potential 256, Spalding a potential 225. Okay. Boss with a four-bagger, Knight's frame. If he's going to show a little emotion, a little strategy, this would be the frame he puts it on Bob Spaulding. Let's see if he attacks. This is the big one to take a 21-pin lead. Brian Voss. Darn it. Served in the Army, 1977 to 1981. Right now, Voss, with a chance to take a commanding lead, sends the ball wide. He leaves the soft 10, exact same shot that Spaulding had in the ninth frame on this same lane. And with a conversion, Voss would have a 10-pin lead going into the 10th. We have a possibility of a tie. Brian Voss is a high school youngster. Worked in a, the Bismarck Bowling Center. Got paid $1.60 an hour. <laughs> That's about our rate, isn't it? Sometimes. Oh. <laughs> You're right, partner. <laughs> he uh, has come a long way since then. One of the PBA's tour millionaires. And the situation for Voss is simply this. If he throws two strikes and one pin, he locks out Spalding. Anything less, we can have a tie or Spalding can win the match.
he stuck it to Spalding that time. One more strike, and Boss will go on to meet another tough, big, powerful guy, Dennis Jakes. Anything less, Spalding can tie or win the match. It's up for grabs. Just keep it between the lines. One pin is all that is necessary to advance to the semifinal. Brian Voss, a big 235. Spalding can finish with 225, a good effort, but not enough. And a better disappointment because remember, Bob in his second appearance on television, looking for that elusive first professional win. They're hard to come by, the first. But Coming in, he had earned 7250 so he adds another six grand to it, Bo, and that's not bad if we can keep doing that and earn a living out here on the tour with the help of his sponsor. I agree, Chris. He bowls so well. He hit mm. the pocket every shot. He's only going to beat around 214, but a good, solid game. All right, 235-214, ABC Sports presentation of the professional bowlers.